what we found through um, a few different studies is that you can actually induce humility into people, which is a huge finding because um, inducing humility, humility is kind of a multifaceted trait. There's um, a lot of things that goes into that trait and it's hard to measure. So um, by finding a way to induce humility, we tested the effects of humility on implicit race, racial bias. So what that means is um, we found a way to make people more humble and then we measured what their automatic reaction towards um, racial differences were. So um, by having people simply do a small exercise, uh, we were able to make them more humble and we did that through scientifically validated humility scale and then um, we measured their implicit racial bias through the IAT, which is an implicit association test. So um, what they did, what that does is you kind of flash different um, fa racial faces, so white or black, and then you um, flash positive and negative words and they have to match them to the different faces and it kind of switches it around. But um, the end result is that people who went through the humility induction were less implicitly racist even accounting for social dominance orientation. So um, even if you believe that some people are better than others just naturally, it still showed that the, high, the more humble you were, um, the less racist and the less sexist that you were. So that had some pretty powerful implications. I'm, I'm really happy. It kind of has formed my experience as a psychology major at Clarkson. It's kind of helped me realize what I want to do in the future. It also gives me kind of not only the skills as far as research goes, the skills in creating studies and analyzing data and that kind of thing. It also um, gives you kind of a sense that you could go out and explain these findings to people and help them understand that change is possible and things like that. So I would say that it's definitely um, formative for my experience here at Clarkson.